These were tough ones. Uh-huh. You wanna do some? Ha <laughs> yeah. One. Uh huh. Three. Four. Hi. You may ask, why calisthenics? Scal calisthenic. Calisthenics. <laughs> Sometimes the tongue gets gets twisted. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to do it after I've done all of those. Uh -huh. One. Personally, I spent around 11 years of my life in Asia. I went out there before I took the family out there. So, about 11 years. I'm Asian. <laughs> yeah, I'm Micronesian. I'm Marshallese. Yagoyuk, Mangyamyur. Learn the language. Rananim, Ifausum, that's Chukis. Mogathin, that's Yap. Palau. Ali Kawangarang, Ekawangarang, that is um, Yapis, um, Chumoro, Guamanian, Half a day, Half a Tatat Manahao, you know, the response Sehagu, and so forth. Well, Kasalelea, that is Ponape, um, Kulo Malalap. <laughs> That is Kashrai and so forth and so forth. But anyhow, also learn a little Tagalog. Uh, magandang, magandang, umaga. Good morning, magandang tanghali, magandang gabi, magandang hapon. Uh, Tagalog and so forth. Three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go. Calisthenics, um, the body really is able to build the body. You see, you use your body to condition your body. And by doing that, you're, you are able to compete with your own self and not competing with anyone or anything else. So calisthenics is a it, it, it conditions the mind also because you got to push against you and so that's that's why one of the reasons you do calisthenics it gives you an even tone also workout well Anterior. let's see let's see if i can sir vibe this survive Sur surviving all right so not to mistake with surviving there's a difference surviving yeah surviving when everything is Synergy. Challenge. Synergy. Energy. Right. Energy. Yes, yes. All right. One, two. So how long have I been working out in the past six months? I would say on and off um, throughout the six months, you know, I've been exercising. And every now and then, I may exercise once a week. Once a week. But for the most part, I try to be out here at least five days a week, five days a week, and do my own routine. Uh, so the routines that we did today, well, my son, this is the first time I am engaging in those routines. Whoa. Yeah, that ground is, Whoa. I touched it on my, yeah, not today. What? Maybe on those, the men? Yeah, wherever. Yeah. Then, yeah, that ground ain't gonna hey, be What? You got the big one? No, he got the... You got the lens. He got the cannon on deck. What? <laughs> Yo, you recording or is it? I am. Uh, Yo, what's going on? We out here with the OG. And we got we got Karn behind the camera. The YG. <laughs> <laughs> and we just finished a phenomenal two routines, upper body, lower body. Uh -huh. um, yeah, man, yo. It's about... You see why it's important to have a father or a father figure, you know what I mean? Because even though today 
I was kind of teaching him the re whole reason why I'm doing this is because we were introduced, and I'm saying we because my brother's behind the camera, we were introduced to this stuff before we even knew it was, oh, is it a thing? It, it was so normal that it didn't seem like it was, uh, you know, it was uh, a thing that people find to be, oh, wow, you're so fit. I'm like, this is normal. This is what I was raised to do, to be healthy, to eat healthy, to work out. It, it's just like a way of life. You condition the mind. And exactly, and why your environment and the people around you mm -hmm. play such a significant role in who you become in the future. And not to say that even if you don't have that, you can't become somebody. But it just, it, it kind of, a lot, it, the success stories that we typically see of people who do make it and don't have that, it's a small percentage. The people who usually die in the hood, things like that, that's a vast majority because they, that's what they have. That's what they're exposed yep, to. Yep, yep. And we can't condemn them. Not, never. We never. gotta be there for them. Never that. So listen, from here on, I'm your pops. That's it. Six, <laughs> yo, 62, man. I'm your pops. You can call me pops. That's yep. it. And, and like I said, and, We've been everywhere, everywhere in the world at this point, you know, and, and once again, shout out to my pops. It's like, we didn't think that to be uh, in Japan. Yeah, you know, we didn't think that to be anything. Yeah. Oh, oh, you don't, people don't get to travel. It, we didn't, th it was normal. It was like, it was oh, this is, yeah. this is a way of life. And when you come to America and you kind of see people who haven't have those, had those opportunities to venture out into the, the Outside. corners of, you know, the, well, not even not even the corners of the world. Literally outside of their neighborhood, yeah. outside of their norm, their environment, and everything that influences them is either things they see on TV that are you know kind of curated and programmed to for a specific objective, or uh, you know their direct circle. Those are the only people they really have influence from until they venture outside of that. It's kind of like they don't know what they don't know. Why? Yeah. I <laughs> told you it. What in the world? Whoa. Well, so how long have I been physically physically active? In throughout my years. To tell you the truth, when I was in Grenada, the island of Grenada where I was born, Maurice Bishop, uh, famous Maurice Bishop, he used to come to Tivoli Junction where I lived. And he used to have rallies there. And the big boys, they used to go training. We used to run on the beach. And I used to go running with them on the sand of the beach years ago, 1973, 74, way back then. And so and we used to go to the river. We used to lift the river stone. We used to, we were young, and we used to lift those river stones and we used to throw them. Physically fit, I used to use the cutlass. We cut, we, that's how we didn't have any, any lawnmower or anything of the sort. And so we used to climb the trees and sustain ourselves and uh, that's tantamount to pull-ups and so forth. So I've been physically active. Then I came to America in 1975 and right after I graduated, from high school, Franklin Delano Roosevelt High School down there in Coney Island. I went into the military. Ah, oh, 11 Bravo, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Fort Knox, Kentucky, Fort Ben in Georgia, and Fort Hood, Texas. And uh, you're talking about PT every morning, physical training. When I got out, I continued my exercise at Oakwood University, Huntsville, Alabama. I had an uh, uh, exercise class every morning. Oh man, maybe 60 of my peers, fellow students were there and I graduated and I continued my exercise throughout and as you are experiencing it right now, I'm still, you know, taking care of my body, mind, soul and spirit. Yep. Yes. Six. Uh -huh. Seven. Whoa. Let's go. Eight. Uh -huh. Let's go. Nine. One. One. Up. Yes. That's it? That's it. Last set. Last set? Last set. You mean you're going to do that to your father? Oh, yeah. Huh? Get you the gains, the warm up gains. Really? Let's go. Warm up gains. Uh, this is it. Kyron, you're going to let Irving do that to me? <laughs> huh? For the record. For the record. Kyron is my brother. Okay. <laughs> Recording. Let's go. Yeah. So, what does 62 mean? 
62 means I ought to give, you know, accolades to the great creator. I ought to give glory and honor to him. He is the one who has kept me all those years. So I'm grateful. I'm thanking God for the great and the good life that I've had. 62 means um, a, a, a positive outlook to the rest of my life. If God could have taken me this far, I know he will take me to the rest of my years of my life in peace, joy, happiness, yes, and love. And he has helped me to survive all those years. And it means family. I'm excited about my family. I believe I will live long enough to see my grandchildren. <laughs> I know I'm still waiting, boys. Still waiting for my grand. I'm still waiting. All right. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Yes, yes. I remember. I'm your pops. <laughs> I took them to Japan. They've been all over the Philippines, Guam, islands of Micronesia, Micronesia Trinidad, boat. Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Grenada. Um, you name it. Yeah. Canada and everywhere and, and that that allowed like uh, to me I can't sit still for too long like after um, I, I left my job at the YMCA I literally went over to the UK England uh, yep. yeah and and on a whim like I don't know it, it wasn't planned it was just like hey this is what my dad would venture do. <laughs> you know so adventure I'm like hey why not let me let me uh, start doing that myself but like I said it's, it's really about you, the people around you the people who are in your circle your initial set of influence is usually your family, your parents, your brother, your sister, your cousins. And if you're somebody who kind of is in a circle of people who, let, let's say, look, the people around you, all they're, they're satisfied with the way they're living and they're not living well. And you know what that means to be living well. It's like you have potential, you're, you have a, a goal, you have a dream. And Positive those, outlook. Yeah, exactly. And like, you, if you have a goal and a dream for yourself, but the people around you are kind of like, oh no, save that for people who actually can do that. It's like, well, why can't I do that? And if you're, if that's the influence you have, it's time to find new people. And, and thank, thankfully for the internet, if you're watching a video like this, or if you uh, are subscribed to uh, influential uh, entrepreneur, YouTube channel or whatever, those are the type of people you can start to flock towards. And then look in the comment sections, look, hey, who lives in my area? You can start with ways like that. So there's yep. always a way. There's always a way. Yep. So that's what we got to do. We got to keep a mental positive attitude about life. And again, you got to recondition your mind. And COVID-19 oh, COVID uh, has given to us a new paradigm, new aspect of thinking. Yep. All right. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. One. Uh huh. Three. Four. Hi. Six feels good. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, ah, twelve, thirteen. Ah, can I do one more? Fourteen, uh -huh. fifteen. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> You never know until you try. You gotta put those muscles to the test. Never take counsel of your muscles, of your fear. There is no I can't in your vocabulary. Let's vibe. Do not take counsel of your fear. Your fear will try to advise you. You can do it. <laughs> Condition your mind and whatever you can conceive Your mind can achieve This is mind over body Impact 7 fitness vibe you can survive it I'm your pops <laughs> <laughs>